Yo, 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 what's up? What's happening? What's going on? It's your boy, Chain Wang. Welcome to the blog. Y'all already know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, hit that bell so you can be notified when I drop these videos. All right, so, man, rest in peace to PN, uh, B-Rock. I'm going to um, read the little post that they got on um, World Star, and then we're going to get into it. So, jury convicts man of sending his 17-year-old son to rob and kill rapper PNP Rock, right? According to the reports, the man accused of sending his 17-year-old um, son into a Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles restaurant to rob rapper PNP Rock was found guilty of felony murder, two counts of robbery, and one count of conspiracy at a trial in Compton, California on Wednesday. Now, I don't be wishing jail on nobody, but as he should. Like, yo, you sent your son out to do a drill on somebody that you got the drop from because his girl posted a location. So, what that makes me think is, you not even like that. Like, you sent your child, a kid, to go do a drill, bro. Like, what type of man are you, bro? Like, that man should have got death penalty. I don't care, bro. Everybody getting exposed this year, bro. You're going down. They not playing with people no more in 2024, man. They over, they over the foolery, man. But um, I just wanted to just drop this quick video. Like I said, it's something negative, but it's something positive. Like, you get what I'm saying? It's always hard when people, they lose loved ones, especially to gun violence. Like, it's very, like, upsetting. I've lost people to that. You get what I'm saying? And some people, they want to get back. Some people want justice. I know his girl was traumatized about all of that. You get what I'm saying? Like, I didn't... I wasn't blogging then at that time, but I saw the little stuff that she was posting and then she went ghost for a minute. Cause you know, everybody gonna try to say it was her fault. She set him up, whoop de whoop de whoop. But in all its reality, like I don't really know the whole in and out. It just seemed like she was just having a good time and she was just she wasn't thinking. You get what I'm saying? That's why I always tell people like, yo, you gonna post where you at or what you doing, post that once you leave that location, bro. Like, and I'm not even a celebrity, it's just in general, cause you just never know who watching you, bro. Like, but in a in a limelight situation of me being a celebrity, I'm not, I make posts, but it might be the next day I post it. You get what I'm saying? I'm somewhere else. And it was just so messed up because when I was looking at the story, when the when the person ran in there and started shooting, I think from, from what I remember that they got under the table, they ducked under the table and basically he used, he used his body to shell her and lost his life. You get what I'm saying? Even though the guy was coming in there essentially for him. I'm just saying, like, he protected his girl to the fullest. So you got to give him respect for that. And that, that'll that make a person traumatized, too. Like, I'm pretty sure she got PTSD, anxiety, depression. She probably definitely seeing a therapist. Like I said, I don't really know her like that. I don't really be checking. I'm just saying, like, a normal person that, that has, like, a heart. You get what I'm saying? And I know she really loved that man. But um, it's messed up how things go. But um, let me know what y'all think in the comments section. And I'm out.